So right now I'm putting green trackers on the green psych wall and you can see I'm doing a cross pattern and that's good because if you do a dot, sometimes the track will fail, but if you do the cross when it gets a little soft and blurry and out of focus in the background, it'll still have a distinct pattern to actually lock onto while it's doing the track. This is just cheap green tape from Amazon, so it's really shiny and reflective. That's not ideal. You probably want like a matte chroma tape if you're on a professional set with a budget. And it's probably a good idea to break out like a laser level too if you have the time to make sure that all these tracking markers are on the same horizontal and vertical planes. That way your tracking software can better determine the X and Y orientation of your scene relative to the camera. And that's important when you start bringing in your actual environment. We want our digital camera in our 3D software to be on the exact same initial position as our camera in the real world. So it's really important to get our orientation down exact. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna stick these on in no particular order. And you also notice that the tape is a different shade of green than this psych wall. And that's okay because it's still gonna key out. And it's actually a good thing most of the time I found because it gives more contrast in the color, which will help your 3D tracking software, whether you're using Blender or 3D Equalizer, it'll help it be able to pick up on those points. Because when things get out of focus, if these are the same shade as your wall, it's all just gonna blend together. There won't be any actual data to track. When we're out in Korea doing this, we have an army of Koreans helping make this happen. I don't actually have to put up the tracking markers myself, which is nice. And this is making me have a true appreciation for what they go through. So shout out to you guys.